What is up, Fishaholics? And today I'm out here in Fort Pond on the north side of Montauk in the Hobie Outback. Oh, there he is. Whoa, whoa. Big fish, big fish. I didn't even get my intro in. Whoa, guys. But like you heard, I'm out here in Fort Pond on the north side of Montauk and just hooked a really good fish on the six inch casting fishaholic twisty tube. Oh my gosh, I did not expect this. Oh my gosh, guys, that was fast. And I wasn't casting the twisty tube, I was trolling it, but the six inch casting twisty tube is an exceptional little bite size trolling lure because it perfectly imitates a small little sand eel. And that's why these striped bass are loving it. Right now I'm fishing this point here and it's the beginning of the outgoing tide and that's why I'm here because these striped bass like to stage on these points here in Fort Pond Bay because on an outgoing tide it pulls all the bait out and creates some awesome current around the points here and the striped bass are drawn to these locations for that reason because of the bait and because of the current. I'll show you in a second what this striped bass ate and uh, wow I mean this fish nailed it and really ran off hard with oh he came off oh he came off right at the kayak I gave him a little slack line and pop off uh, came the striper but uh, basically this is what I hooked the uh, first bass of the day on just this amber colored six inch fishaholic twisty tube that I personally make myself and uh, I've been making it for the last you know six or seven years using it as a light tackle trolling lure or casting lure to uh, catch striped bass and bluefish. And it uh, perfectly imitates, you know, a small little sand deal, um, you know, when it swims, swims through the water and uh, striped bass just love it. But let's try and catch some more. I'm gonna keep trolling this six inch casting twisty tube because that's how I caught my first fish. So, you know, why change what I'm doing if I caught a fish that quickly by just trolling this little twisty tube. Oh, just had a couple bites. I'm getting bites. There, oh, there he is, fish on. Oh, he came off again. Gonna try trolling down tide and maybe I can get these fish to eat this twisty tube a little bit better. I trolled up tide and got a lot of bites, but I just couldn't uh, nail any of them. They just were pecking at it. They weren't they weren't clobbering it, or they weren't inhaling it, you know. And uh, sometimes that's the way it is on uh, the north side, you know, or in Fort Pond. A lot of times the fish are feeding on really tiny bait, and uh, you know, unless you have like a really really small fly to uh, match the hatch, you know, it's it's hard to get a, a, a striper to really hit that bait. You know, they will hit it, but, you know, they'll just be finicky about it. They're going to peck at it. They're not going to really inhale it. Oh, see, there's another bite right there. Another bite. I'm going to try pedaling a little faster. And uh, they're going to have to react to this uh, bait. They're not going to have any time to really look at it. There he is. Got him. Got him. There we go. Feels like a pretty decent fish. Probably like a 25 inch bass. Might be a bluefish, I don't even know. <laughs> but it's a fish. Hopefully I can get this one in the boat. Oh, he just didn't want to come in. There we go. Nice striper.
Hopefully I can land this one. I got the net with me. I might as well use the net. Woo, got him. On the, uh, the six inch tube, the six inch twisty tube. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these six inch twisty tubes, you can check it out in the link in the description. And um, you know, these baits are just phenomenal little light tackle baits to use to help match the sand eels that are in the water here, especially in the Northeast. And uh, striped bass just love them. Nice pretty fish. Get them back in the water. Whoa, really hot fish, really hot. I'm trolling this twisty tube about 50 yards behind the kayak. And uh, that's pretty much all the line you really need to let out. You know, I'm only fishing in, you know, six or seven feet of water, sometimes even four feet of water. Uh, that's what I love about fishing in Fort Pond is these bass, you know, come really, really shallow. And uh, you don't have to fish 30 feet of water to catch any. You know, you just troll in, you know, less than 10 feet of water and the fish are here. They're actively feeding. Oh, there he is. Oh, dang. There he is. Got him. Ugh. Got him. Lots of fish here, though. Lots of fish. And they're loving the six inch twisty tube. Oh, got a little cocktail blue. Get in the net, baby. I got you. You're in the net. You're in the net. This bluefish doesn't like the net. He doesn't like the net. Good eating size cocktail blue. Many people think bluefish are, aren't good eating fish, but when you catch them this size, this is a perfect eating size bluefish. They taste excellent, in my opinion. See you later, buddy. All right, let's catch some more. Now, that fish, he straightened out the twisty tube here because the inside of the twisty tube, or basically on the inside of the latex tubing here, there's basically wire. And I bend the wire in a certain way, basically, which causes the twisty tube to swim the way you want it through the water. And when you catch a fish, you know, sometimes it straightens out. And what you basically got to do to give it that swimming action again is you basically just grab the eye of the hook underneath the latex and you grab about mid body and you pull the hook this way towards you and bend the mid body down. And that basically will give it the correct bend that you need so that it swims through the water in the way that the fish will hit it. I'm going to make one more down tide pass with this red six inch fishaholic twisty tube and hopefully I'll be able to uh, connect with one more fish. So let's see what happens. The amber colored tube works in pretty much all situations, you know, and conditions, whether it's low light or high light conditions, but the red twisty tube works really well at night or in low light conditions. And right now it's low light conditions, so I figured why not give it a shot and throw it on. There was a bite right there. Oh, there he is, got him. Fish on. I don't know if it's a striper, it might be another bluefish. But it might be a small bass. Small little cocktail blue. Calm down, buddy. Right there. <laughs> See, they don't even let go of the lure. <laughs> little bluefish. There he is, fish on.
This feels like a bass. Good thing I stopped to uh, take a few casts. I knew I marked some fish on the finder and I saw a few swirls. So that's what made me stop and try and catch a few bass. Woo, hear that real scream. This bass nailed the red six inch twisty tube. Scoop him up right in the net. Oh, I got him. There we go. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Gotta love it when you're catching fish on your own lures. Gotta love it. Nice, pretty, healthy fish. them on that twisty tube right in the corner of the mouth. Getting back in the water. There he goes. Really hot fish. 